Welcome, Facebook, YouTube, social media friends. I am Maddie Marshall, and this is Halloween Crappy Pasta Scream Fest. I have found the crappiest stories on the official website of crappypasta.com, and I have picked out some corkers for you. So sit back, relax, and listen. The crappy pasta I have for you tonight is called Faceless. Hello there. My name is Diogo and I'm from a small village somewhere in Portugal. I have a simple life. I go to school, have lots of friends, a nice girlfriend. Everything is okay despite my disability. Because yes, for me, this is a disability. In fact, you know, it can know if a person is about to die. I just need to look at their faces, whether on television, a photo, or face to face. How to tell? Well, people who are about to die appear to me with no face at all. I see their head, their ears, their hair, but no mouth, eyes, eyebrows or nose. All started when I was a child. There was a family photo on the fireplace of my house. We could see my mother, father, sister, grandpa, grandma, and me on it. Once, I noticed that the face of my grandmother had disappeared from the picture. Of course, my family couldn't see that and asked me to stop lying. But several days later, my grandmother died of a heart attack. I did not immediately make the connection. And my parents either. I must say, she was no longer young. Then, it was my grandfather's turn. Like grandma, his face was not in the picture. I warned my parents about this, which earned me a new argument with them. But the facts were there. A few days later, my grandfather died having a stroke. This time, my parents could not believe me. Sorry. <clears throat> this time, my parents could not not believe me. They asked me never to tell anyone. They saw this as a curse and it could have attracted me problems. Predict someone's death necessarily attracts suspicion if this prediction comes becomes true. If this prediction become true. And so, my life gone as normal as it could wish. This disability does not necessarily touch me, and I thank God for that. Sometimes I met people with no face on the street, sometimes I found some on TV. I could tell my relatives that. Mickle Jackson. Mickle Jackson were about to die days before his death, and with that, they were able to make a lot of money. They just bought many of his albums before anyone wanted one. They sold them on eBay. I know, it's a terrible thing to do with the death of people, but this is my disability. This is my curse. I have to live with that so as well enjoy but you all have that question why do I need to talk about it now why did I reveal my ability to the world now what changed I want to know if someone have the same curse 
No, I don't care. I want to become Fear Mouse. Not at all. The truth is, my friends, that since this morning, I haven't seen any face yet. People on TV have no faces. No one on Facebook have faces. On the local and international news on the internet, no faces either. On the street, people have no faces. On my mirror, it got no face. I do not know what will happen, but I advise you to live your last days as you have never lived. Have fun, dance, drink, eat, make love, do whatever you want. Cause in a few days, we'll all meet again in the afterworld. Credit to Creamus. Now that was pretty crap. <laughs> so, put a thumbs up if you really thought Faceless was a real crap, crappy pasta. <laughs> Join me again tomorrow with a fresh story. I've got another corker for you. Bye bye, friends. Stay safe. <laughs>